God is now calling upon the despised and the rejected to become the cornerstone and the builders yeah. of a new world. And so our brief subject today. The inner cities in the ghettos, the hood and the trap It's about who you are, not where you from or where you at Ain't gotta say you a real kid, look If you really real, got so good at faking Real don't recognize real, we done weaponize real It's anonymous, we're killing this shit. I remember when being anonymous was the realest this shit. Now we shout in the crowded spaces, cloud chasing, no loyalty Nice to meet you, brother. I'm from the Nation of Islam, and we out here sharing a message trying to save the black man's life, trying to put something beautiful in our head to help us counteract all this stuff we're learning from white supremacy. You know what I mean? That's got us in this condition that we're in. Because we're not living our natural lives right now. You know what I mean? This ain't our natural self. All the abuse we put on our body, all the abuse we're giving our women, all the abuse we're giving our children, this ain't our natural self. By nature, we're beautiful human beings. I mean, we're peaceful brothers. We God-fearing individuals. The white man got us out here running around like savages, beating up each other, killing each other, hitting our women, leaving our children to rot. You know what I'm saying? That ain't our natural selves, man. And the only thing that's going to change that is knowledge. Because God is here to save black people. God is not a white man. He's not a dead white man named Jesus. Man, God is so asleep, you know what I mean? But we're going to wake ourselves up. We're not going to ask him for nothing. We're not going to ask our slave master for nothing. We're going to wake ourselves up. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm out here doing, trying to wake up my brother. So I got, I got a question. Got yeah. So like, somebody trying to develop Somebody is trying to develop to be better, right? And how you say odds? Well, not odds is against you, but it's the odds that you see that are against you. Yeah. And, and you trying to like how you say succeed in the right way, yeah. but it's it's a lot of uh, you know what I'm saying? Damn, they're impossible. Yeah, you feel me? So it's like the advice I, I wanted to ask was like how I'm 23 by the way. So like how somebody would move because and, and I'm like experiencing homelessness, right? Yeah. So. How would somebody transform themselves within an obstacle? Right. Yeah, so you're saying, how do you overcome impossible odds to become the man that you want to become? Despite what we've been through, despite self hatred despite white supremacy, despite no money, lack of education, no car, all that, right? Yeah. Like, where do you start? One thing the white man never taught us is the law of cause and effect. So the law of cause and effect says that whatever you do right this moment is going to come back to you. So if you do right and you do good, right and good is going to come back to you. If you think of success and positivity, success and positivity is going to come back to you. So one thing I want to say is, before I was a nation of Islam, when I was living a crazy life, I didn't understand the condition I was in was a result of my own actions. What condition was it? It was horrible. It's very similar to yours. It was horrible. So, what I started doing was, I started treating people better. I started, in particular, I started treating the woman in my life better. It was, it was like, directly related to the way I was treating my woman. Directly. I'm not saying that's what you're going through, but the way we treat ourselves is the same thing. I was abusing myself. You cannot have an independent thought, a free thought, if you're drunk. It's not gonna work. If you're high, you can't think how to be about how to be a free, independent black man and you high. Once you have an independent thought, you can find success.
once you stop doing the things that's going to force negative to come back to you, you can have success. So by thinking right and doing right, you manifest your own destiny. You have to be the moral superior of your enemy to go to war. Their superpower is evil. Your superpower is truth and honesty. So when a white man turned us into liars, he destroyed our power to create. Once you decide to be honest, you have your powers back. You have your thoughts back. You can be a free and independent black man. Once you give up what he put in your head that told you was right, that you instinctively know is wrong. Once you do that, you can be yourself again, brother. Once you're yourself, you can do anything you want, brother. a more perfect union toward a more perfect union when Jefferson said toward a more perfect union he was admitting that the union was not perfect that it was not finished that work had to be done you call me giving game I say it's wisdom it's not a game at all pay attention it pays to listen more than you speak Listen and learn more than you teach You'll find the truth the more that you seek And achieve more the more that you reach It's more than getting money, it's more than trying to eat It's more than survival, it's more than... Hey, how you doing my brother? Thank you man, appreciate you That's right, have you heard of yeah. this time before? Yes sir, I done read them, I read them Yes sir, what's, what's the name? Brother? My name is Terry, how you hey, doing? I'm good, I'm Brother Farrakhan I you know, I'm very fine, alright, let's enjoy this paper it's a back issue. I read them too. I already know, man. I already know, man. Listen, we appreciate your support, man. We don't want no money now. We just out here just trying to share. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, man. You have to pay two dollar for them. Have, you heard, for have it. you heard the minister's latest lectures? Uh, no, I haven't. He got one called the Criterion uh -huh. that he gave on July 4th. Uh huh. That one is my one. You might want to. It's on NOI.org. Uh -huh. That's the one you want to check out. I visit y'all malls, uh, no, I'm not a mall, but I visit y'all yeah. malls over there on, on Cameron Road, over yeah. there. Oh, yeah, for they sure. had the military thing that was doing the thing, <laughs> man. I was out to record it, man. I said, whoa, That's I love it. That's inspiring, right? Yeah, yeah man, I love That was it, one of the things that inspired me to be a Muslim. Yeah, man. Yeah. But a brother like yourself come in there, man, you get some military training. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they, they told me. And exact, yeah. man. And they told me that Muslims, is like Christians, like, they mixed up together some kind of way. They're not Christian, but they yeah. We, we would respect each other's values or something like that. That's what they were talking about. Right? Am I right? Yeah, you're 100% yeah, right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you build good habits in a bad environment? It's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. The first thing it starts with is knowledge. What are good habits? How do I create good habits? And then it's just a matter of time before you implement them. You can do it, but it takes time. And so like, does discipline fall in line with them? Like, how did you build your discipline? I went to the mosque, and the mosque saved me from my own ignorance. I fell in line with the brotherhood. I started drilling. I learned what left face, right face meant. I learned to eat one meal a day. The most honorable Elijah Muhammad said, the new life starts with one meal a day. Hey, He said, your heaven begins with one meal a day. That's what he said. You know what I mean? If you can stop eating breakfast and lunch and drinking, I'm not saying you drink this morning. If you can stop doing anything and get down to one meal a day, you will have the discipline to do everything else because eating is natural. If you can give up the natural inclination to eat, you can give up the inclination that's unnatural. Fornication, drinking, smoking dope, robbing, stealing, killing, whatever you're doing. If you can control your own desire to eat, you, you gain self-mastery and you overcome your environment. That's what I want to get to, self-mastery, yeah. you know, but it's It starts like, at one meal a day, between yeah. 4 and 6 p.m. That's the key. That's the first step. Yeah. That's the first measurable step. It's 4 to 6 p.m., one meal a day. The mosque is closed, so you can't rely on the brotherhood right now. You gotta rely on you and I, you and God. So, it, so 
Can I ask you a question? Yeah. So since you're like the brotherhood can't meet up, right? Yeah. Is this a, a test? A test for you? For me? Absolutely, brother. That's why I'm out here to strengthen myself. I'm out here for you, but I'm also out here to save myself from becoming a Negro. From becoming the person that Content. I was before I became a Muslim. Content. Yeah, because you're either living or you're dying. You're not staying still. Yeah, yeah I feel like I'm dying. You know? I was like confident in myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I like, I like knew what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? It, it went from from dreams to survival. Yeah, you know, yeah, it went from damn, I'm gonna get that to damn, what can I get now? I, I was getting to a point where I was liking myself. Yeah. Like I was actually, you know what I'm saying, understanding yeah. myself, and I look yeah. in the mirror and I be like. Damn, bro, yeah. we got to start this process again. Yeah. Like yeah. every time, like as, as soon as I get like a little yeah. of self belief yeah. again, it's like you know how in jail you getting trapped and it's a wall, it's an yeah. actual wall that you can see. Yeah, the white blocking, no, you know the white man's world is a prison cell for a yeah. black man. And so, so Absolutely. imagine being outside free, yeah. but mentally like enslaved, have a wall, yeah, a but you wall. can't see. You know what I'm saying? At least in jail, when you sit and you can look at the four walls and knowing what, what you're stressing about. Yeah. You're like, damn, I'm here, but I'm free. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm not like, I'm trapped. I'm free, yeah. but I'm mentally trapped because I'm like, I'm stuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa, well, it's like invisible four walls, and I'm like, I don't want to get to the point where I'm grabbing my head and yeah. content yeah. with that four wall. You know what I'm saying? Cause when you want to escape take, while it's still time. Yeah, because even like, even if you content with that four wall, you're done for. And, and and then like a few years later, you change your mind saying that you want to progress and all of that. You got to wait into the concrete rock. You know what I'm saying? Cause the concrete already solid. Wow. It already, it, you know what I'm saying? That's it's already, deep, bro. You feel me? It's yeah. already solid. You got. Right, so let me ask you a question. If the lion is the king of the jungle, right? Yeah. If you go to certain parts in Africa and you find a lion and he's the king of that jungle, right? If you take that lion out, you bring him to America, you put him in a circus, right? You have that lion have babies, right? When those babies come out, you kill the parent lion and you raise the baby lions to believe that they're supposed to be circus lions, yeah. right? They don't know that they're king of the jungle. They believe that they're born to serve in a circus, right? The only way you can tell those lions the truth is if you find another lion from the wild, from the jungle, and bring them to teach the lions in a circus that they're supposed to be in the jungle. This is why when you ask the question, how can you overcome your environment, it's damn near impossible. Because environment is stronger than nature. Whatever environment you in turns you into itself if you don't have enough knowledge to turn the environment into an extension of yourself. So right now, we're the lions in a circus. We're not ourselves. If your mother was a Muslim, you were supposed to be a Muslim. You're supposed to say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And that says, all praise due to Allah. That'll give you the electrical energy that's natural to you. You're not supposed to be talking about God in the white man's language. You're not supposed to be talking about God with an image of a dead white man in your head. You have no power to overcome white supremacy unless you are your natural self. Your natural self is a Muslim, born, meant to serve and do the will of God. This man, Farrakhan, he's the example of what a free black man looks like. And now he's showing us that it's possible, like an example, an example. And by having an example, you can learn how to get back into the jungle. You can learn what it means to be the king of the jungle. You can be reorientated and re-educated. You feel what I'm saying? You need an example. You're not supposed to be out here by yourself. We're not supposed to be out here without a leader. God is our leader, but since we don't know God, God gets us to know him through another human being. So we don't worship Minister Farrakhan, he's a teacher. And he's an example of what we could become if we submit to the truth. You feel what I'm saying? Union means bringing elements 
are components into unity. It is something formed by uniting two or more things for some common purpose. From every block from Cottage Grove to Stony Island, all the bodegas, Brownsville to Coney Island. For every east side and Martin Luther King Drive. For every suit and tie, final call and bean pie. And those raising the dead by the thousand, the combine. Those that circumambulate around it. Those that rep they set with fingers, Mecca and Medina. We are not one if we let them get between us. Black power, black unity. There's too many artificial barriers between you and me. Ye are all gods, children of the one Lord, but can't generate power. How you doing, my brother? Yeah,